Here is another verse from the Advent hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. O come, thou wisdom from on high, that orders all things mightily, to us the path of knowledge show. These words call us to seek wisdom from God in our prayer. One of the lessons in the Bible is that when we pray to God for the gift of wisdom, that's actually one of the best gifts to ask of God. Imagine that in every situation you encounter in your life, your number one request of God is wisdom. I think sometimes when we get to difficult situations, we turn to God in prayer and we say, Lord, fix this. Lord, solve this problem, change that person, change that situation, work a miracle here. But imagine that our number one priority is not any of that, but our number one request of God, Lord, give me wisdom. Help me to see this situation as you do. Think about this when you come to some situation in your life where you don't know what to do and you don't know how to go on. Lord, give me wisdom. That's what this hymn calls us to do. And then the verse says, teach us in her ways to go. In other words, we're asking God for the gift of wisdom, but then we ask Him to lead us in the right direction, lead us to follow on that path of wisdom. That requires us to listen to God's voice, which comes to us in the scriptures and the teachings of the church, but also through others. God's Holy Spirit speaks to us through others. And it requires of us humility. If you don't have humility, the prayer for wisdom probably won't help you too much. We say, teach us in her ways to go. Teach us to go in the ways of wisdom. We ask God to guide our actions according to His eternal wisdom and His truth. Wisdom should guide everything in our life. God's wisdom should guide our relationships, our priorities, our decisions, our words and our actions. And you know something? We should allow God's wisdom to teach us and to guide us in how we experience suffering. Dear brothers and sisters, we have wisdom in this mysterious child of the son of Mary and Joseph, Jesus of Nazareth. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is our wisdom. His words, His teaching, His holy life, His example, His suffering, His death, His resurrection, all of that is our wisdom. As Christmas approaches and as we move through the Christmas season, let us recommit our vision to continue to see, to see Jesus as our wisdom, to allow His eternal wisdom found in the Gospel and in the work of His Holy Spirit to guide us on the way of goodness and truth. If we follow the Lord Jesus, if He is our wisdom, we can never go wrong. God bless you.